hey, it's the middle of the month. To me, this is time to assess my meal planning. What am I talking about? I'll be back in a minute. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, this is Jan. Welcome to the Save Money and More with Jan channel. How you doing today? I hope that everybody's doing well. If you're brand new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've been here for a long time, thank you, thank you, thank you. In fact, thank you everybody for being here. If you want me to remind you at this moment, don't forget to click the like button before I even get into it so that you don't have to remember. All right. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate your channel support. I want to talk to you today about something that I do every middle of the month. And right now we are smack dab in the middle of this month, which happens to be April. Okay. So what I do is I assess my meal planning for the remainder of the month, I look around at my inventory. What part of my inventory, my food allotment, for example, what uh, I have in my stockpile, what I have in my active pantry, in my refrigerator, in my freezer, in my cupboards. I, I just take a quick look-see. To me, believe it or not, this is a very, very important step. This way I can assess what stuff I need, what stuff I have more of, what stuff I should start using up on. And I think it's a wise thing to do in the middle of the month. And I'll tell you another reason why. Because at the beginning of the month, you know, everybody's caught up like like doing other like beginning of the month stuff, like sitting down, make sure, you know, the rent, their mortgage, you know, sitting down with their bills and that type of thing, or at the end of the month, some people do that. Depends on the billing cycle. But in the middle of the month, in my honest, many people have like a little bit of a more calmer lull, like somewhere in between. I mean, I could be wrong, but I have noticed that for a lot of people, perhaps for yourself. Now, at the same time, while you're assessing, ask yourself, and I ask myself this, what kind of easy, inexpensive meals would I like to make? Now, here's a couple of bare bone meal ideas, all right? And one of them involves deviled eggs. I don't know about you. Do you like deviled eggs? I do. Well, if you like, if a person likes hard boiled eggs, more than likely they're going to like deviled eggs. Now, if you don't know what that is, what it is basically it's a hard boiled egg where the cooked uh, yellow portion, the uh, egg yolk is nicely cooked like a hard boiled egg. And it is hollowed out, cut the hard boiled egg in half, hollow out the uh, yellow part of the egg put a little bit of your favorite dressing, and I mean a little, maybe a little bit of mayo or other style of dressing that you like, replace it back in there. And then I like to put a little paprika on the top. I think that's why they call it deviled eggs because the little bit of red, the paprika type thing. Um, I don't know what it is. The paprika seems to make it more delicious. I don't know if it's psychological, the appearance. I don't know what it is, but I'll make a bunch of, of deviled eggs uh, for a couple of days as like the main protein of the meal, then I can have like cut up uh, some celery stalks and maybe uh, stuff that with a little bit of cream cheese. I love those. I call them pick on meals. What? They're already done. Just put them on a, like a platter, grab as you go, paper plate, bunch of olives, you know, just, to me, it's sort of like a weird kind of charcuterie board type thing. Inexpensive, fun to have, a little bit of crackers. Those things you can make in advance. You can make them, we make them very, very cheaply. Uh, we could take some deli ham, roll up the ham or the turkey, uh, roll that up. Make a little bit of a platter 
and actually you can like kind of sort of like make that like a couple of days worth and just, you know, wrap it up nicely into your good food savers. And then the next day and the flavors marry, you have everything like make that platter all over again, which is like so, so good. And you feel like, like you've had a luxury meal because one isn't working at their stove. They just come home. It's there, take it out, pull it out, sit down to it. Done, 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 done. So that's absolutely amazing. I just thought that I'd mentioned this idea about first assessing your situation. And don't forget that you could get creative with meals. Why don't you let me know in the comment section below, what do you do in the middle of the month? Do you, when or when slash when do you check your inventory? Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate everybody's time. Take good care. And don't forget to enjoy your day. Why? Because you could. Hang on.